We have a background very clearly with um, Russian aggression against Georgia. We have an uh, annexation of Crimea against international law. We have a conflict in Ukraine. We have um, a lot of military activities in the Belarusian area, and we have an uh, upbuilding of Russian military capabilities in the Kola Peninsula. And we have more of activities in, air, in the air and on the sea, in the, on, in the Baltic Sea area. So we have for a long time seen an upbuild of military capabilities, and we also have seen that Russia is ready to use military power to fulfill political goals. So we live under realities that we must take new strategy, and we started with, it, with that in May 2015 in our last defense decision, and we will continue now in our next defense decision in December this year. So you're saying that the new realities are that Russia is here, it's on right on your doorstep. But you also said when you announced this spending plan, an armed attack against Sweden cannot be ruled out. How likely would you put the uh, likelihood of an attack? 50%, 60%? I do not speculate about anything. What is clear for us is that Russia from time to time has been ready to use military power to fulfill political goals. And we have seen it especially in Crimea, we have seen it in Georgia, we see it in Ukraine, and um, we see also their military build-up. So we, we have made an anal analysis about this, and we also share the view with the Baltic countries, with the Nordic countries, and uh, also a lot of partners on the international arena. So we are not alone. Minister, with all due respect, uh, as the government official in charge of defence, I'm sure that your department will have run some sort of risk analysis. I can understand if you don't want to share that with us, so we'll move on now. Your country is not a full-time member of NATO. Why not join the military alliance, enjoy that joint military approach that NATO can provide and save some money at the same time? I don't think we save any money, but uh, we are ready to invest money in, in defense, and we do it just now, and we will, we will also increase our military capabilities. We have operational planning with uh, the non-allied Finland. We work very deeply with the Nordic countries, with the United Kingdom, with the US, with Poland, with uh, Germany, and uh, with other countries in Europe. So we have a lot of connections, and we exercise together. We, we build interoperability together. We prepare for acting together if we come to crisis position, crisis situation. But if we change our mi military security doctrine, we also change the, the whole uh, the whole security situation in our part of Europe. So we think from a non-alignment perspective, we make our military capability to a higher level and we're deepening our cooperation. We think that that is the best strategy in our geographical area. Now, your aim is to try and boost the number of military personnel that you've got by 50%. That is going to take a lot of time. How do you plan to do that? Are you going to bring back a higher rate of mandatory uh, service in the army and your forces? Yes, we have a reactivated conscription service and we now have around 5,000 conscripts and we will go up to 8,000 2025. We will also establish new regiments, and we will expand the organization from 60,000 to 90,000 personnel. So we, we are developing the organization, and we invest a lot in the upgrade format. We invest a lot in new aircrafts. We invest in new submarines. We also invest in new sea vessels. So it looks, on the face of it, you're taking this very seriously by the amount of things that you want to buy. How big a concern is it that you could be on the doorstep of a new Cold War? No, we, we, I, I don't speculate in anything more than what I can see in reality. And what we have seen is what Russia have done in our neighbourhood. And we have also European Union sanctions against Russia. And that's very important because they have broken international law. And I think we are stronger together, and I think we build threshold together. And um, I think that is a very clear security signal, not only from Sweden, but also from the countries we are uh, cooperating with.